Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to my first video for my new channel, Think Noodles 2. I'm a bit nervous, which is really unusual for me. Uh, being my first video, I really want this one to be good. So welcome to my cheats for the Monsters University Party. Let's get started, guys. First of all, you log in and you can join a fraternity or a sorority, and I am going to join Uzma Kappa. Let's do that and get the Uzma Kappa hat. And you can join all the other ones and grab the hats too. You might as well, they're free. Doesn't cost you a thing, so I'm gonna grab all four. But I'm still an Uzma Kappa guy, so we have cake and uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll win. All right, so uh, you gotta fill the canister with screams and all that stuff. And don't worry, we're not scaring kids. Let's get this Card Jitsu Snow costume off because, uh, well, it's not really Card Jitsu Snow Party anymore. So uh, let's take that off and I'm going to go and put on that hat we just got. Let's get the head items. And there are a lot of costumes and stuff in this party. Uh, and you use points and not coins to get them, which I think is actually pretty cool. Um, let's see. Let's put on a little bit of a shirt. I don't like running around naked in Club Penguin. <laughs> uh, let's put on, um, you know what? We'll just put on the robe. That's fine. Yep. Okay. Now, uh, one of the costumes you can get is my favorite one so far is this Mike Wazowski costume. Uh, let's pull someone up here. Okay, here we go. And that's how it looks pretty awesome. Let's send them a postcard for being a good actor for us and a model <laughs> for the costume. Now, as you guys can see, when you're wearing one of those costumes or a piece of clothing from the new catalog and you press the D key to dance, you will scare people and you'll get, I think, five scare points. We'll check later on in the video just to be sure that I'm right. Okay, now that uh, I'm standing there dancing, trying to get it to work, and uh, let's go ahead into the scare games right up in the upper right. There we go. And uh, this will bring us from the quad into the stadium amphitheater area. And as you guys can see, we get the scare challenge here. We got OK in the lead. I think that's an updated leaderboard. So uh, OK, then ROR, then PNK. And as you guys can see, here's the catalog. And that's the Mike's costume I was talking about. Of course, it takes points. And uh, it's for members only, but the items for everyone are right there. And I've got to play the scare game to get points. As you can see in the upper left, I don't have any. And uh, these are the ones for today, and then each day after that, there are a bunch of new costumes. The Sully costume is going to be awesome. The Johnny costume, actually pretty cool too. The one I'm looking forward to the most is that one right there in the middle. I forgot his name, but I think it's going to be awesome, guys. All right, let's close this down and let's get some points so we can uh, buy our Mike costume. And as you guys can see here in the points, there's a maximum capacity of 8,400 screams. So I'm wondering, oh yeah, we are in the lead. I'm wondering what happens when you fill it up. I'm gonna try it out later and if it does something, I'll do a time-lapse video uh, showing you guys me getting all the way there. So let's go ahead and play for Uzma Kappa and keep them in the lead. All you have to do on this is use your arrow keys left, right, up, and down, and uh, the space bar at the end. So up jumps, obviously left and right go right, and if you hold down the up key like that, you do a double jump. There's a single jump, and we stand on the platform, and you press the space bar when it's in the green. I got it when it was yellow, which is only like a kinda good scream. Uh, you want to get it in the green for the best scream. Now you're, there is a time limit, as you can see in the upper right, there's a little blue bar, and it goes down slowly as you move along and that's when the robot will wake up and you just got to get there and do your scream or do your scare make them scream before it runs out now if you run into something like a toy uh, it will decrease the timer more quickly and we'll go here and do a double jump there we go and another double jump yep oh and as you can see that really decreased the timer so I gotta be quick here and ooh, there it is and full scream we have three lives and it gets harder and harder and i'm gonna fast forward the next few rounds for you guys um so you can see me go through it there and oh i nailed that one and uh, it gets harder with these balloons that go up and down and it gets becomes all balloons and it gets harder and harder and oops still made it there and uh yeah um and that's what happens when you you go too far or well you get caught uh, and you run out of the room, and yep, that gets harder and harder. This one actually was really easy. <laughs> there we go. 
and uh, all right, and we'll just we'll just sabotage it and run into everything. There we go. Last one. Okay, we're out of here. And I got 575 points, and you can see my scare canister filled up. Like I said, I'm gonna get to 8400 and see what happens. But first, I want that Mike's costume. Let's grab it now. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll get that. And I don't have enough for the squishy cost. Well, let's get the item for everyone because that's actually a cool thing to have on because you can still be bald and have the hat. I kind of like it. Um, should I? Okay, well, notice I have 175 points right here out of the 8400. And let's close that and let's scare some people. Let me put on that Mike's costume and uh, we'll see how many points it gives. I think it's five each time. Um, let's find it. There it is. Okay. Oh, man, that is so funny. <laughs> okay, there we go. I screamed, or I didn't scream. I scared them. They screamed. Let's uh, move over here and uh, see if we can scare some more people. Come on. You can only scare a few at a time. Come on. Get it. Get it. Get it. There it is. Okay. And as you can see, I scared two groups of people, and I now have 185, so that's 10 extra points. So it does do five for each one, but you really have to change screens. Um, let's switch to a different room, and we'll scare some more people here. Um, there we go, see? And uh, let's check again. Yep, 190. All right, cool. So that is correct. Five points for every group that you scare, but you kind of have to change rooms to scare more people. It's like the Hollywood party where you had to take pictures. All right, now let's check out some of the rooms, guys. Uh, right here in the coffee shop, and as you can see, the town is redesigned for the Monsters University party, and uh, the coffee shop is the only room decorated inside the town. And I was a little disappointed about this, guys, because um, the town, uh, the snow forts, is redecorated, of course. Um, from the snow forts, you go north to the Monsters University quad, and then over here is actually a really cool scene uh, from the movie. And uh, yeah, it's the classroom, uh, and it's really well done. Uh, it even has the uh, the scaring robot bed, and it's got the um, the uh, the canister from the headmaster. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, <laughs> you'll get it when you do. Also, before we go over to the stadium scare games area, there are some new emoticons. There are six of them, and we'll use the green Oogsma Kappa finger. And uh, let's head on up here, and this will put you right into the scare games area here. It's sort of a stadium amphitheater thing, I guess. <laughs> I'll get over here in the corner. And uh, let's go on back out through the quad, and we'll go on the lower right is back to the snow forts here. Here we go, and I was thinking that a lot of rooms weren't designed until I found this. Uh, if you go from the snow forts, and I can't figure out how to reach it on the map, but if you go to the right here, there's sort of a hidden secret area between the snow forts and the plaza, and it's got each of the fraternity houses. Let's check them out now. This is first okay. And uh, welcome, they say. So let's go on in. And as you can see, guys, it is exactly recreated from the movie. And it's really cool. I love I love it. Uh, I was really, really disappointed before thinking that they'd only done the town, the plaza, the snow forts, and that little uh, Monsters University area. All of the other rooms, like uh, the dock and beach, they're not decorated at all. So here we go into Jox's, and uh, this really reflects our personality, although I don't remember seeing their fraternity house in the movie. ROR we do see in the movie, and this is reflected, of course, very well. There we go. And uh, just like the movie, and uh, finally, let's go over to PNK. And I think you guys can guess it's going to be a little pink in here. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, really pink. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so head on out here. And then if you continue over to your right, you'll end up in the plaza, which is also redesigned. The only room or... I guess restaurant area redesigned in here is the growl. The pizza parlor has been redesigned to the growl. And as you guys can see there, yep, pretty cool. Um, and uh, there's a game you can play. And uh, did you see the plink flamingo there? That was from the pin from two weeks ago. And speaking of pins, let's go over to the iceberg here. And there it is, the one-eyed puffle pin. And uh, I actually like that quite a bit bit more than the pink flamingo one only because I didn't really understand the pink flamingo one so let's pick it up and put it on
And down, 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 down. Whoa. Whoa, that was weird. It, huh. Turned into a star. That was, huh. Let's go back. Ah, there it is. Okay, great. And let's put that on. Yes, there we go. We have the pin. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my first video on my new channel. Don't forget to subscribe to me here on Think Noodles 2 if you want to see all CP all the time. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, and of course, noodle on!